Hello and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. Today we're doing a nectarine. Now, I've had these before and they're a little difficult for two reasons. Number one, you'll get all kind of, if you're not using adhesive, you'll get juices up under your dentures and it'll want to make your denture break loose. And number two, they're not, you can't really push on them like you can an apple. I've done apple videos before. So they're a little more difficult to eat and they're very juicy, so I've always got a napkin handy. And wow, this one is juicy. It just kind of dissolved in my mouth. But because you can't push on it, if it's not ripe enough, you'll end up popping your top denser loose by pulling on it. And already my denture tried to pop loose because Let me clean it real quick. I'm only using denture fit in the top and nothing in the bottom. So already my top denture tried to pop loose on me. You can't really push on this, you'll just smash it all over your face. but you still have to take very small bites. Because if you open your mouth too far, you'll pull on that top denture and it'll break it loose. Now, of course, you can cut it up. But I like to think of things like if I'm, if I'm, say, on an outing or at a park or something like that, and somebody offers me a nectarine, or if I just happen to take some with me, I may not always have a knife cut up an apple, or nectarine, or a plum. So I like to be able to make sure I can eat them this way. And boy, this one's juicy. Wow. So I'm trying to take as small a bites as I can. But it's really difficult. It's very, very juicy. In fact, let me grab another napkin. Wow. It's almost aggravating because it's so juicy I can't really sink my teeth into it. So it just keeps getting smeared all over my face. I'm trying to get down to the seed. There we go. Now maybe I can actually hold it.
Wow. It's going to be messy when you do this. I actually just bit off a chunk of the seed. Again. I must have a stronger bite than I thought. Hmm. Yeah. This is, uh, this is something I would recommend cutting up. Not that it's impossible to eat this way, it's just very messy. So that's the first time Really? Big old chunk of skin stuck right under the back edge of that denture, right under that back tooth, and I couldn't get it out. I must have some pretty, a pretty strong bite, because I keep biting off chunks of the seed. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get. And I need another napkin yet. And not only that, I splattered some up on my glasses. See it right there? So. <laughs> anyway, this is a short video, but... I haven't had a nectarine in a long time. And usually they're a little harder than that. That one was extremely ripe. It was like eating water. Let me grab another napkin. That particular nectarine was very very ripe. I normally pick them out a little bit. The last time I ate nectarines, I picked them out. I couldn't squeeze it. I didn't want it to be so ripe that it just falls apart. Very sweet and very delicious. But I'm actually going to have to wash my hands and face now because it just got all over. All up on my nose, my face, my beard, my hands, just everywhere. I'm just all sticky now. So that's today's video. You can eat them that way, but if they're extremely ripe, I would highly recommend cutting them up. You might be better off in this instance to cut up a piece of fruit. Now... Like I said, I like to make sure I can eat things like that. If I was outside at a park or something like that, or at the dunes or, you know, out four-wheeling four or something like that, I wouldn't care about getting a little sticky, a little dirty. But right now, not my first choice. All right, I will see you in my next video.